guys, um, I just want to say some things. Now, Easter's coming up soon. Yes, it's today. Don't judge me on that. And I just want to give you a heads up on what not to do on Easter. Okay, my five facts of what not to do on Easter. Okay, let's go. One, no, five. Um, if, if someone's going to ask you, how are you doing in school, or something like that, just reply, okay, I'm getting straight A's, even though if you're getting F's, just say, I'm getting straight A's, be confident about that, but if you, but if that's not really believable, and depending who you are, just say, terrible, I'm doing terrible at school. If you're one of those people who, you know, don't really do that well in school. So, yeah, okay. <sighs> Number four. Why don't we do that? Um, if anybody asks you, would you like something to drink with that? Uh, and it puts you in a very awkward position, like, um, <sighs> And you're thinking in your head right away, oh, I don't really want anything to drink. Oh, yeah, I don't really want anything to drink. What, what am I going to say? Sure, I would love some Sprite. Yeah, Sprite's amazing. No, don't say anything like that. It's crazy. Okay? So all you need to do is just say that, you know what? Thanks for asking. But I'm fine. What not to say? <clears throat> of course not. Pleh. No. Um. Or another thing not to do. Terrible! How could you ask me a question like that? <gasps> Results me very. And then you probably will smash into the TV, break everything. Um. And don't do anything else that sounds whiny or inappropriate or. Just something that's just not Easter like. Number three. Why again? I need something back. Um, if there's any kids and you're a kid, if you're a kid and there's any kids at that party, make contact with them after they say their hellos. Okay, it, it would be rude if they're like, oh, hello, Aunt Lucy. That was a name we could say. Hello, Aunt, Aunt Lucy. How are you doing? Don't say, well, they'll say, now, oh, hey, dude. How's it going? No, don't just interrupt them while they're saying their hellos or byes. And if they're saying their hellos to you, and it puts you in a very awkward position, or if anyone does this to you, if you're staying in a very awkward position if someone's saying hello to you, and you you start moving in for a hug. Um, all you do is just hug them back, okay? They give you a hug. Don't do that awkward. Uh, okay, that sounds like I'm kissing someone. Um, don't do that awkward. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. This is getting kind of awkward. Don't, no, 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 don't make that face, like, just hug them and deal with it, okay? Number two, we all, you know, those, if anybody asks to go in a room and your dad's like, son, you, you can't let anybody go in that room, got it? Good. No, you better go. Do uh let no one get in that room. Ah! Ow! God, that hurts. Well, if that happens to you, well, just and they're like, oh, can I? And still, and they're like, oh, can I get in your room? That's uh, that's amazing. And it's the room that they told you not to go in. Well, it doesn't give me a problem. Just to say. How about this room? Like, a room that you can go in. And if they're like, no, I want that room. Now. And if they're going to say, like, <sighs> don't lie to them, dude. Just 
say, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. It's going to put you in a very awkward position if you lie to them, okay? Now, you don't want to do that on Easter. Now, you don't want to get in all of these awkward positions and these ways that I'm telling you not to go in because they're just terrible ways. Like, they're the good way, the kind of good way, or the completely bad way. Um, let's see what else. Number one! Okay, we all have a creepy uncle, and except for me. But most of you guys have a creepy uncle on YouTube. It's fine, go ahead, you can admit it. Do not say he's creepy. Your uncles, don't say your uncle is creepy, okay? Don't say that. Now, as for me, I do not have a creepy uncle. The creepiest person that's in my family that I can think of is me. Okay, um, if I was uncle, I'd be the creepy uncle in the family. But I'm not an uncle yet. Good for me. Okay, um, anyways, uh, so, uh, if he's the first one at that, if you have, like, an Easter party or get-together, if he's the first one to show, to show up, hide, run, hide, okay? But if he's, uh, the, just... But if he's not the first one to show up, just keep ducking and hiding and make a little peek to see who it is. And if you do that all night and he never comes, well, you just lost a bunch of hours of your life. Or if he's coming while you're eating, like, nom 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 nom, and he's like, hello kids, hide. Hide it. Hide. Do the same thing. Hide if you find any hiding spaces. You stand right in front of the door. Hello, kids. Hi just run and hide. Okay? Don't make any contact with your creepy uncle. Unless, unless if he makes contact with you, then make contact with him. That's a good point. But if you just, you know, want to make contact with him, then go ahead. Go free. That's why I don't have a creepy uncle. I do not have a creepy uncle. Okay, and that was my five facts about Easter. So, um, look at this loose bed I had. What? 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 Oh my god, it's, it's bigger than the screen. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Okay, anyways, bye guys. See you next time.